Hi everyone, my name is Charlie, and I just passed my driving test. After two years, ten months of trying, after writing off one car, but we'll get to that in a moment, I have finally passed. I'm 25, so this probably could have happened ages ago. In fact, this could have happened when I was 17. Most people now, when they turn 17, straight away they want to drive, and that, that's the big thing for them. That is the big thing in the UK, when you turn 17 you're able to drive, and I never had that inclination. I never wanted to drive. Um, I went to uni for three years, didn't want to drive, and then I got my job. And a big thing when you have a job is that nowadays people kind of want you to have a driving licence, and so I saved up some money after my first year of work and I had my first driving lesson. That was on November the 14th, 2014. My brother started at the same time. He is four years younger than me and he had passed by May. So you can see that there was probably a bit of a problem with the way that I can drive. It took me a lot longer because on my first lesson I couldn't figure out the steering wheel. And we only, like, you have an hour and they talk to you for a long time and then they want to see how well you can drive. I couldn't drive. I was confused by the steering wheel. I didn't understand anything about driving at all. And so I couldn't figure out the steering wheel. Turned too far to the left and we nearly hit a wall. And it is a good job that nowadays cars have dual controls because my instructor had to put his foot on the brake. And... I have had a very patient instructor. For that first month or so of driving, we just kept going around and around the same circle, the same route near my home, which is just a one-way system. It's not even two minutes away. And that was just because I wanted to learn how to stop first. And then we went into second gear. And it took me an inordinately long time to even figure out how to drive. And so, after 18 months of learning, I said to my instructor, were we going anywhere with this, you know, were, um, because I, can't, I was getting a bit fed up, because I felt like I could drive. And for some reason, there was a 20-week wait for driving tests last year, and so I booked my theory test in for the May, and had it on May the 25th, but wasn't able to take my actual driving test until November the 14th. I will include a link to the video I did after I failed that test, because I failed it in a fantastic fashion. I was not observant at all. The night before, I happened to check an email that said I'd require my theory test certificate, and my instructor had only told me I'd need the card. So I spent the evening looking for it, and it was three o'clock in the morning before I went to sleep, and my instructor was coming to pick me up at seven for a test at twenty past eight. Needless to say, I was incredibly anxious, I was incredibly tired, and when the instructor at the time asked me to do a parallel park, I just completely forgot how to parallel park, tried to do a bay parking, and it was like that video on the internet that's viral at the moment with how poorly done it was. In fact, it was so bad that I just gave up in the middle and just drove into the space forward. It was supposed to be testing how I reversed, so you can see how well that went. <sighs> the thing is, with my work, I have had to cancel a few lessons, so I didn't actually see my instructor then, that was November, I didn't see him properly again until January because of all these different things going on, but I did go out that day, and on November the 14th I bought a car, I just failed the test and bought a car because the power of positive thinking, and then I got my mother, and my, I used to drive around with my mother, well I started driving around with my mother, and I did this other test. On February the 14th, Valentine's Day, and I went into that extremely confident, really thrilled about the fact that I would be going into a test and I would be passing it because my siblings, um, two of them, have failed their first test and passed the second time and I thought this is it. And everything was going fine in my opinion and then we came, we went down a country lane 
and we got to the end of this country lane and I was just about to set off when another car came straight into the back of me pushing us forward into the middle of another road and promptly wrote off my instructor's car, saw to terminating my test and meant that I didn't actually get a score or mark for my second test. Now then a similar story happened. The week after I went to take my lesson again to see my instructor to go over what had happened. We know what had happened but we needed to like get me to sign statements and talk about stuff and on the one-way system I said about where my nan lives we saw someone in the road and it just happened to be my nan who had fallen off the pavement and smashed her face open so the lesson got cancelled and so I went to the hospital with her and then didn't see my instructor until April because of having to do so much overtime at work. Then, I finally booked a test. This is the secret test. This is the test that I told nobody about because I was like, clearly, there's something going wrong here. And I refuse to fail another test or pass it and have all these people knowing about it. And so I went and I did a third secret test, and which technically can only be called the second because I didn't really do enough driving on the second test to even get a score. And the third test came around and I failed that as soon as I left the test centre because there's a stop sign and I stopped at the stop sign and I stalled and I went over the stop sign but a red master came down the road and the examiner said admittedly he was going too fast and if he'd been going at the normal speed you'd have been okay but because he wasn't he became an obstruction and he failed and so then a very sad Charlie had to come home and admit to everyone he'd just done a test, failed said test, and then now we're here. I booked this test straight, um, straight well I didn't book it straight away because again more overtime afterwards meant that I missed a few lessons. Then I finally managed to meet my instructor, we booked a test, we worked really hard at getting towards this test which is technically our fourth test, well it's our fourth test but technically our third because of aforementioned second written off car but I want to you know, like, am I the only person who's ever written off the car on their test? I want to know because I feel like I'm going into like some sort of comedic hijinks here. And then we got to today's test. And after having a night of nightmares, including one where I actually believed I'd woken up and was at my grandmother's and was stressing about the fact that I wasn't here to meet my instructor and do the test, I did the test. And I passed. And I might have got 14 minors, which is only two off failing, but I did it. And for some clarification with that, the first test I got 11 minors, one major, and the second test I don't know what I did, and the third test I got, I think it was four minors and one major. And so, after all this time, I am finally allowed on the road. Now. Why am I bring, why, why am I telling you? Why am I telling you this story of my life that has gone on for all these years? Well, I like to use it as a parable uh, or some sort of story to talk about how if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, and if all else fails, use a sob story. That's a line. Never go for the sob story. It just makes you look bad. But my point is if we're looking at it from a writing perspective, as I did in the previous video called On Rejection back in December. Because I have failed a few tests now. I have had them written off, uh, you know, I've had cars written off, I have had tests terminated, but I have kept learning to drive and kept on at it. One, because I have spent a lot of money on it and I wanted to see it actually come to something. Two, because I already have the car. And three, really, just so that I could do this video and talk about publishing. And how if you do get rejected by an agent when you are sending out your work, it does not mean you should stop sending off your work. If you realise that you have worked on a project for five years, like I did with Juniper Brown, and realise that it is going nowhere, and that you've tried everything to make this story right, but it's just not right now and you aren't going to be able to solve it, that doesn't mean you should stop being a writer. Just take a step back, take a rest, and 
you will realise what you want to do with your writing and there is somebody out there who is definitely going to want your work. And it may be a strange twist on it to try and say that I got this all from my driving failures, but we have to go with the power of positive thinking, we have to be mindful, and we have to remember that every cloud has a silver lining. And that each time we fail at something, we can take what we have failed and we can we have, remember we don't need to do that next time and we know where we're going wrong and we can fix where we're going wrong. Of course, today I did a lot more wrong than I usually do, but I was a lot more confident and I was a lot more at ease with what I was doing and it all worked out. And that's what my point is. If you are confident that your work is going to be fantastic, you don't have to try and force it and explain to everybody that this is fantastic work because there is going to be someone out there who agrees and who is going to want your work and is going to see just what you are trying to do in your with your creativity and with your art and you just have to find that person and it's really just a story to tell people not to give up and to try their hardest because as with all cliches it's better to have tried and failed and to have never tried at all. And really, it was just because I've been driving now and learning for two years and ten months. All of the money I made from the first Doris book has gone towards helping me learn to drive and I just wanted to brag about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, that is all.